welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video. I hope you are all well and having a good week. So today's video is a huge shopping haul. So I've got things to show you from F&F &F at Tesco, from Jusk, from Home Bargains and from b and I think. So I've put everything together in one huge shopping haul. So if that is something you would like to see, then please continue to watch. Right, so I've got lots to share with you, so I'm just going to crack on and get on with the haul. So the first things I'm going to show you are from um, F&F &F at Tesco, so I've bought a few clothes bits. Um, it actually, Tesco actually had 25% off um, the other day when I bought these, off all their clothing. And I think it's an absolutely great uh, offer, isn't it? 25% off. Because their clothes aren't particularly cheap, are they? Really? Um, so I picked up, while they got the 25% off, I picked up this lovely loungewear set. This did come in different colours, but I picked it up in this sort of brownie colour. And this is the top, as you can see, it's ribbed, it's long sleeve, it's got that neck there with the tie detailing, it's got a pocket on the front, a big pocket on the front. I picked this up in a medium, it was £18 for the top, uh, but like I say, 25% off, so I didn't pay £18, and I have to say, it feels so, so nice. I'm going to try these on so you can see what they look like on, but that's the top. And then I also bought the matching bottoms. So they've got pockets, they've got the tie detailing around the waist and they've got cuff bottoms, which I love because I'm not very tall. So sometimes when they've got like a wide leg bottom or something like that, they drag on the floor uh, with me, for me. So when they've got a cuffed bottom, I always love them because obviously they just hold them up a little bit shorter. I got these in a medium, I presume, as well, yeah, and these were £18, or should have been £18 as well, so it would have normally have been £36 for the set, but like I say, if you get anything where, if I always, I always be good to buy anything if they haven't got that 25% off, because they do do it fairly regular, don't they? So let me try this set on, but I absolutely love it. It's so, so, feels so, so nice. And like I say, it does come in different colours as well. So I'll insert a clip now of me trying it on for you. So here is the lounge suit. So the top, really, really cosy, like I said earlier. And then the bottoms, I love the bottoms because of the cuffed um, legs. I can get away with them. Uh, with only being small, it feels so, so cosy, so soft, so snuggly, really pleased with this one. Then the next thing I bought from Tesco was this gilet. Oh, hold on, it's tucked up with everything else. Again, I love this. I just thought it was something a little bit different because it's got the teddy um, sort of boucle effect as well on the outside, as well as the normal material, if you know what I mean. This, again, the normal price, which, again, I didn't pay, but it would have been £45. And I got it in a small. Um, they didn't have a medium. I probably, possibly would have gone for the medium if they'd have had it. Though I don't tend to have the gilets fastened up anyway. It says 50% of the polyester used in this garment is recycled. So again, I'll try it on for you when I've showed it you. But it's got the hood, it's got the teddy bear or whatever you want to call this material, I'm really not sure, inside the hood. And obviously the normal uh, polyester or whatever it is uh, outside. And then it's got the little tie detail. It's got a zip and uh, poppers as well. And it's just one of the mid-length gilets. So it's not one of the really long ones. Long ones. It's not one of the really cropped ones. I do like the really long length one. But again, because I'm small and I don't really wear heels, I think they tend to make me look scrunched up, the really long ones. It's got pockets as well. It feels so, so nice. Um, I absolutely love it and just something a little bit different as well. So again, I'll try this on for you so you can see what it fits like. So here is the gilet. So I really like this. There's not an awful lot of room in it. Like I say, it is a small. I can zip it up, um, but I probably wouldn't wear it fastened anyway. And I would only wear something thin underneath it because I'd get too hot anyway. <laughs> 
if not. So yeah, I'm really pleased with this. So I think this one's a keeper. The only other thing that I bought uh, from Tesco's was I bought some slouchy socks, but I've already um, unpacked those and put them away uh, just to wear with my Ugg boots. Um, two pairs of slouchy socks that were £5 each, really nice, thick quality um, socks. So I also bought those. So that was from Tesco. So moving on, I'll show you Jisk next. So I bought three things from there. I never know whether I say that name right, but you know where I mean. JYSK is one of my new favourite shops. It isn't a shop I ever used to really go in that much. Um, but the past few times I've been in, I've found something that I like. So every time I've been in, and it's a reasonable price as well. So the first thing I picked up from there, I know there isn't that many of those shops about, but they are online as well, I think. So the first thing, it's still got its uh, clip around it, but I put, bought this trailing plant. Now these types of things in Ikea, I think are about six pounds of vegetables in there. This was only three pounds 50. And I'm gonna put it, I've already got one in a hanging basket in the utility room. And this is gonna go in one of my hanging storage baskets in our hallway. So three pounds 50, I mean, again, an absolutely uh, fab price, isn't it, for that, I think. It's got like the little pebbles in the top. So yeah, just pick that artificial plant up for three fifty. Then I bought a couple of things out of their Christmas range. So I picked up this Christmas tree. Now this lights up, but I've got to put a battery in it. So I can't show it you lit up. I need to get some batteries. But how nice is this? Now, I don't know whether I've got my receipt now for this, but I think it was £4, which I think is a really good price for the size of it. It's not ever so small and I just love it. I like the fact that it lights up. I thought the price was really good and I thought it will go really nice in here because it's very similar to this lamp that I've got here, uh, the colours of it. So I thought it would probably go on that um, sideboard there, maybe at Christmas. I just love the neutral colour of it. So if I just bring it in quite close so you can see, it's sort of like concrete sort of effect there. And then the ceramic top, as you can see, these neutral colours. So I think that's absolutely fab for the price. I mean, I think you'd possibly pay more than that in B&M for something like that. So I'm really pleased with that, that. And then I picked up this. I've got a couple of ideas what I might do with this. Obviously, it's this wooden sleigh, as you can see. It's got the rope detailing there on the front. This, I believe, was £6.50, and it's quite a good size. Again, as you can see, it's 54 by 18 by 13 centimetres, if anybody wants to know the exact size. But as you can see, it's quite a good size. Now, I thought this would be ideal. You could paint it if you wanted. I don't think I am. I like the sort of the washed effect wood. I like the colour of it. This, I thought, well, this if you could use it for whatever you like, but I thought a couple of options would be to have in front of your Christmas tree to maybe put some presents on top. And I thought the other idea, which I might use it for, I'm going to see what I think, I might use it as my Christmas hot chocolate station. So I thought I could put the jars on the top with the um, hot chocolate in, marshmallows, flakes, sprinkles, whatever on the top. And then maybe if I could put some mugs underneath, maybe like, I've, and I have this sat on my kitchen worktop. Um, so I might style this up. That's my first option, I think. I might style this up as my Christmas hot chocolate station. Um, but yeah, obviously you could use it for whatever you wanted. But for £6.50, again, I just think that's a great price. Like I say, it's a good size and I mean, you can use it for whatever you like. But so that's what I picked up from Jisk. So I'm actually really pleased with, with all of those um, three products from there. Like I say, it wasn't really a place that um, I used to go in that much. I went in occasionally, um, but yeah, now I can't seem to stop going in. And every time I go in, I find something. <laughs> right, so I've just got B&M now and Home Bargains. So I've got quite a few bits from each of the shops, from both of those shops to show you. So I will start with B&M. So the first thing I picked up from B&M was some wrapping paper. Obviously, they've got loads of wrapping paper in there at the moment, but these two were my favourite and I thought they sort of matched with each other, the same colours, so you could mix and match them, like these will probably be harvest, say, and then I tend to buy two um, different ones for Kaya, 
so we can separate the presents or obviously for our son and our daughter if you're new here so these were only one pound fifty a roll and you get eight meters on there loads of different styles as you can imagine but this one i thought was really nice i love the neutral colors and the green it's got obviously the holly on and presents and reindeer how nice is that and i just think it looks so expensive for wrapping paper do you know what i mean it doesn't look cheap i don't think at all so let me just move my bits on the floor so i can put that one down and then look at this one just like a brown colour, a neutral, natural colour with just the green trees all the way around. I just think that they are really nice. Um, they don't look cheap. I think they look quite classy. If, if wrapping paper can look classy, I don't know. <laughs> but I think they do. And £1.50 for eight metres is a really good price, I think. Right, so sticking with b and I've got a, a big bag full of um, goodies from there to show you. The first thing I, or the next thing I picked up, should I say, from B&M were these straighteners. My straighteners have uh, broken. They just keep switching themselves off and it's really annoying. So I picked up these. So these are the Remington Gold Dust Slim Digital Straighteners. Digital high heat, suitable for all hair types. Fast heat up, ready to use in 15 seconds. Advanced ultra smooth ceramic coating two times smoother for an effortless glide. They came with gold colour and also a rose gold. So I just got the gold ones. Now, there was like 20 something pound. I'll see if I can find my receipt. Oh, you know what I'm like with receipts. Let's see, is this the right one? Hold on. Yeah, they were 22.99 for the straightness. So not a bad price at all. Um, you know, I mean, you can go mad, can't you? And spend a lot of money on like GHDs or things, but as long as they do the job, relatively okay, <laughs> they're fine with me. So that's the straighteners. I'll keep my receipt out in case I need to know the price of anything else. Picked up some micellar water, the Nivea uh, micellar water soothing for face, eyes, and lips. There's 200 mil in there, and I know it's a good price, but let me see if I can find it. My cellar water, only £1.79, and it's, you know, quite a big jar, isn't it, for that price. I love my my cellar water. Then I also picked up some Nivea Soothing Day Cream, 24-hour moisture. You get 50ml in that Nivea moisturiser, and that was £2.69. So pick that up as well from B&M. Again, a good price. Then I picked up, right, these for Christmas Eve boxes. So you might know that I'm doing a Christmas Eve box for our son, our daughter, and also my nephew. So I picked up Harvey and my nephew, Ben, um, one of these. So these they have got one of each of these. I didn't get Kai one of these because I didn't think she would want one. So it's milk and white chocolate bar, hot chocolate stirrer, just stir into hot milk to make a delicious chocolatey drink. So as you can see, they've just got all the chunks of chocolate going down the um, spoon bit and a big chunk on the bottom. So the hot chocolate stirrers, let me put those over there. I think they'd be like one pound something, won't they? Let me have a look. Uh, they were £1.50 each for the stirrers. And then I bought Kaya a Dairy Milk Chocolate Santa. I mean, what's not to love? Dairy Milk. Can't go wrong, can you, with Dairy Milk? Sometimes Kaya's a bit funny with, like, cheaper chocolate. So the Hollow Santa was £2. Again, just a fab little stocking filler or Christmas Eve box. Uh, something to put in there. So pick that up. Then I picked up, now you might think I've got a thing about sleighs, because <laughs> I picked up another sleigh. But I just thought this was so nice for the price. So obviously B&M, we're still with B&M, and it lights up, I'll show you in a minute. It was £5, I'm just checking. So it's got a thing where you can try me on, and if, it, if you can see that on the camera, it's just got all little lights all the way across the top of the sleigh. And for £5, and it's a fairly good size, it's got the little um, string again, like the other one had. Obviously, you can see the colour of the wood there. Um, and yeah, I just thought, how nice for styling up somewhere in here, maybe. Or, well, I mean, it'd go anywhere because it's just wood. It's just neutral, natural. You could style that up. Um, 
you could put um well, whatever you like on it couldn't you some candles or something i just thought a nice aesthetic looking piece to style up somewhere for christmas and i didn't think five pounds was bad at all um b and m have got so many dupes haven't they for um the white company and places like that um i don't know whether this is a dupe for anything i don't know um but i just loved it and again fab price now, I think the next thing, these are dupes, I have heard, um, from, I think from um, dupes of the white company. I believe, I'm not 100% sure, but let me just get them out. Let me just be careful because I don't want to um, smash them. That's the trouble. You've got to be careful, haven't you? So I bought two of the Christmas tree decorations. I just think these are so nice, £2.50 each. So I bought two of that style, which are obviously the trees. And just look at the little hanging bits with the little wooden beads. How nice. And just look so much more expensive. Look like you've had those from somewhere a lot more expensive than B&M. So picked up the Christmas tree ones. And then I also picked up two of the house ones. So exactly the same style, same price. £2.50 each, picked up two of those. They also did have um, snowflakes, I believe, in the same style. They had three different styles, all with the wooden beads. Um, so, yeah, picked those up for £2.50 each. I'm really chuffed to bits with those. I'm really pleased, actually, with uh, with a few of the bits um, I bought today because I think some of them really do look, you know, a lot more expensive than what they are. I think that's it for b &M. So... <laughs> I hope you're still with me. I'm trying to like whiz through it a bit. So next, Home Bargains. This is the last um, shop I've got to um, show you stuff from. Right, first thing I picked up from Home Bargains, poo bags for Bentley. Not very exciting, but we all need them if we've got a dog. And they only cost 99 pence for four rolls in um, Home Bargains. I always try and get them from there if I can. Then I picked up a shower scrunchy thing whatever you call them body body puff do you call them yeah picked up one of those they're like 39 pence i think from home bargains then i picked up this bath and body aqua soft bath sponge i picked that up as well and i think that was like 39 pence it was something really cheap let me see if i've got my receipt is, that, is this the right receipt let's have a look um the the body puff was 49 pence and what you call this the aqua soft sponge was 49 pence so they were both 49 pence and i just think they look really nice as well i should put that on my uh, bamboo bath rack and yes yeah, pick that up and then also picked up to go away for my mum's christmas box she loves crosswords and um she was diagnosed with vascular dementia a few months ago and so she really wants to keep up she loves jigsaws and she loves crosswords so she really wants to try and keep her brain active uh carrying on with the jigsaws and a crossword so i have bought this and i bought her another book um where did i get the other one from i can't remember anyway this is the one that i got from home bargains the large print puzzles crosswords and yeah it's just a crossword book. I think it was only like 69 pence. It was something really cheap. I mean, you could pay so much more for things like this. Large print puzzles, 69 pence. So that's going to go in my mum's uh, Christmas box. And then I picked up these. The Chenille Cozy Socks. These were only £1.50. I've picked these up for me because I love cozy socks. I love bed socks. I hate my feet being cold, but they have to be really soft and snuggly. And I do have to say these do feel really nice. They're the Chenille ones, so they do feel really soft. And I can get rid of some of my older ones that are going a bit grubby looking. I might actually put these away. I mean, I don't know whether anybody else is out there, but I quite often buy my own Christmas presents. And then I just give them my husband to wrap up because you get what you want then. <laughs> so £1.50. So I might give these Richard to wrap up for my Christmas box. And then I've still got another bag full of goodies to share with you from home bargains oh this is a crossword i got them both from home bargains and this is another one <laughs> the large print crosswords this one's a bit more money this one was 1.99 as you can see and again it's the large print one so yeah pick that up again for mom for christmas 
And then what else did I get? Oh, I forgot. Oh, yeah. It's coming back to me now. It was a few days ago. <laughs> Picked up some nail varnish remover. I like the one where it just, you press on the top and it comes out onto your cotton wool pad. So pick that up. Now, is that on this same receipt? Because these are two, two different times I went. No, it's not on that receipt. Hold on. Because I hate, I hate it when people don't tell you the prices of things. Because I just like to know, even if it's like silly things like this, it's still handy to know the prices, isn't it? So if I can find it, I'll tell you. Nail polish remover, 99 pence for that. I've got my receipts here. Oh, here's my gist receipt. Oh, the sledge was 8.50. I told you wrong, that big sledge was 8.50. The Christmas tree was four and the artificial plant was three. So I was a bit off with my prices on the gist stuff, but still good prices, I thought. Right, let's put my receipts there. What else have I got? Right, picked up a couple of cans. We don't really drink <laughs> uh, alcohol very much at all, but I do like to have a bit of Christmas. So I picked myself up to vodka, lime and lemonades, just two cans of those. I think they're 99 pence or they used to be. Mind you, they might have gone up, eh? Hey? Let's have a look. Uh, how much are the vodka, lime and lemonades? No, 99 pence they are still. So I picked up a couple of those. And then I picked up some treats for Bentley, again, to go away for Christmas because, you know, I always buy Bentley um, stuff for Christmas and also for his birthday, when it's his birthday. So I picked him up these. Right, the first thing, they're this Chester's range. They are the festive dental sticks. So obviously, I always get the normal, the minty dental sticks. Obviously, it's supposed to be good for the, for the teeth. So I don't know what these ones are like, but I picked those up. Let me see how much they were. Uh, dental sticks were 99 pence. And then I picked up these Chester's turkey gravy bones. These were £1.19. And they're turkey flavoured uh, gravy bones, enriched with vitamins and minerals, no artificial colourings and flavouring. So I'll pick those up for Bentley as well. And that's a big box. You get a lot in there. 500 grams for £1.19. I thought they was a really good price. It feels like, you know, the box is pretty full as well. So I think they're a good price. And then I've only got one last thing I think to share with you. Let me just check. My bag is empty. Yeah, nothing else hiding in the bottom of there. So I've picked up four of these placemats. Obviously, they're all the same, and I just thought these was an absolutely fab uh, buy. So they are the Christmas tree placemats, the one ninety nine each, which I think is absolutely fantastic price. Uh, they are seagrass, and obviously they're just in the shape of a placemat. Of a not in the shape of a placemat. They are a placemat in the shape of a Christmas tree. Obviously, as you can see. So one ninety nine. I picked up four to have our Christmas uh, lunch on. Um, and also, or also, if you only wanted to pick up one, you wouldn't necessarily have to buy them for everybody, would you? You could just buy them as a centrepiece to put on your bits in the middle of the table to style up your kitchen for Christmas if you just wanted to buy one. But I just think for one ninety nine, I've seen some pl Christmas placemats in expensive shops that are just ridiculous money. Well, I wouldn't buy them at, at that price. But for one ninety nine, obviously you can get them out again, after, you know, year after year, can't you? Again and again. So I'm really, really pleased with those. So that is everything in today's huge shopping haul. I really hope you have enjoyed watching. I hope you are still with me. Um, please comment below. Perhaps let me know if you've bought any of the bits that I have or if there's anything... Oh, my receipts are dropping off. Or if there's anything that you'd like to try and pick up. Or I always love to read all your comments. And if you are a regular here, you will know I always reply to every single comment. Please comment as well with any video ideas. If there is any hauls you would like me to film, any come shop, any Christmas content. I'll always try my best. I mean, I can't 100% promise that I will, will do. But I, I probably film 90% of what people ask for. Um, I always try my best. If it's a shop I can get to or whatever, I always do try and film the content that you want to see. Because otherwise, you know, what's the point really? I want to film content that you want to watch. So that's it for today's video. Oh, I've got something in my eye now. <laughs> oh, uh, I really hope you have enjoyed watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. Take care and I'll see you all very soon in my next video. Bye.